Hey everybody, this is Dr. Joe Boyle with this week's Thought Flash. We had an awesome event here right on my practice, two days, Friday, Saturday. Uh, we had Dr. Sharon Gorman here, we had Dr. Kathy uh, Kobe here, Wendland Kobe was just absolutely phenomenal and they talked about philosophy, they talked about serving, they talked about practice. Dr. Sharon talked about the Women's League of Chiropractic, which was just phenomenal about signing up. So I certainly, she unfortunately had to go, but certainly love to have any of the ladies out there, the ladies of chiropractic, uh, get on the website, check it out and get involved. And uh, we just had a great training this weekend talking about chiropractic philosophy, how to run your office more efficiently, how to serve more people, how to serve them with chiropractic care for life, how to talk to them and communicate them better about the principle, how to practice the principle and not the profession. And when we talk about that, I think it's really important that chiropractors are practicing with principle and integrity. And that's why one of the reasons I brought in Dr. John Davila. He's here with Cairo Solutions and he really wants to talk about um, and share with you really about being in more congruency and compliancy both with Medicare and insurance and even those practices that are self-pay or cash or practices that do membership only, how to do it legally, how to do it appropriately, how to do it so that you comply with state and federal laws. We brought Dr. John in the practice, but I'll let him talk to, talk to you about that. But Dr. John, it's an honor to have you here. And, uh, and it was great to have you part of the part of the weekend. So tell us a little bit about what you, I mean, I know what you do because I hired you to have you come in the practice. But tell us a little bit about what you do, why you do it, and, and why it's important not only for us to work uh, in compliance, but, but why it's important for those docs out there to bring somebody in like you to show them how to do things better in the practice. Well, Joe, thanks for having me. And this sure. has been an absolute great experience. I, I really, really enjoyed what you had to say this weekend because it matches what every everything that I talk about, which I found really, really odd to go to a practice management group and have them talk about things that were quantifiable. Because you usually don't get that. Usually it's rah, rah, let's go, yay. And then people go, yay, and but they have nothing, meat and potatoes to take home with them, which was really interesting because for me to be able to get that out of what you said, because I go to enough seminars that I don't want to sit in yet I sat here for every minute of this weekend and I only spoke for maybe an hour and a half or something, but it meant that much to me to be able to get that information. And the reason why it means that much to me is because I could see where it's congruent with doing things compliantly. And the reason why that's important to me is because you can be a principled chiropractor, but can you have a principled practice if you don't have a principled business? And to me, that's where I like what you have to say because everything you do brings people towards that whole congruency and principle portion of what they do in life. Yeah. And if I can just give them the bits and pieces of what is what are the simple processes to eliminate where there's mistakes and let them do the right things, it makes them even more powerful. And that's what I really, really enjoy, especially when we came here and, and worked with worked with Dr. Borio's office. It was the same thing. We found small things. Let's just change these things. And that eliminates small mistakes, but over years become big mistakes. Absolutely. And that's really what it's all about. How can we find the small mistakes, fine tune them, and make things work smoother so you can see more people without having to worry, is Medicare coming through my door? Right. And that's what big thing is. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. and, I, and I will tell you that that's one thing. We met out at one of the events. I listened to you talk. Love what I had to hear you say. And then you know you sit back and so much of it because you're you know you're 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 throwing out all that information so you're trying to digest it you know in your brain and you're trying to read over if you will some of the information in your head and some of the photos in your head of, of what you saw and a slide of what you said and and showed and described and how that's going to apply to your practice are we doing that are we not doing that holy cow I didn't know that was right I didn't know that was wrong I don't even know if we're doing some of that you know right. so certainly as a as a chiropractor who wants to practice in full integrity with people and serve people in full integrity and what I mean by that I mean by when I tell people that they need something it's in their best interest that they need to care that's important but also from a financial like you're saying a business standpoint are we billing Medicare right are we billing a regular insurance carrier right so much of our practice is self pay or cash are we even doing that right because like you taught me hey look at you're still going to default on federal law Joe so even though you're doing it this way you still have other guidelines just because you're not on the grid here doesn't mean you're not on the grid Grid. You still have compliance laws to follow, Correct. and I want to put my head down on the pillow, and I want to know, hey, listen, 
you know, there's nothing to worry about. We're doing everything right. And like you said, hey, you brought in, and you know, Joe, there's a lot of things in here that are okay, but there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, gray, and then there's a few things in here. Boy, there's some red alerts here. I'm not comfortable with that. This is a better way to do it in your practice, and this is going to certainly allow you to be in full compliance in any aspect of your practice, and then you do something else. So kind of like I do a coaching program where somebody's going to pay me to uh, have them access me, have them mentor them, give them tools, give them skills, uh, give them different procedures and so forth. You kind of do the same thing where I can kind of sign up with you and do things. Explain that a little bit to the guys. Yeah, and what's, what's really, really great is that what I have to work with, or what I have to give doctors that they can work with is really on the business side. And it's how to be able to take what you're saying and how to be able to explain to a patient this is what they need and then be able to help them understand what are the compliant ways to make it work for them. I, I, I use the analogy of, of a swan on, on water. And it's really easy to watch a swan just float across the water. That's what the patient sees. Underneath the water, the swan is paddling like hell. Right. It looks so graceful on top. Right. And that's the part the patient doesn't see. So if I could teach you how to be able to paddle like hell, to look, look very, very swan-like on top, exactly. that's what it's about. Because the swan is, just needs to look graceful. That's right. what a you know, swan-like motion is. Exactly. That's what it's really, really about. If you can get a doctor to understand that there's two components to the game, there's the part in which they have the certainty to be able to transform the patient's thought process from the medical model to the chiropractic model. If that's the one thing they can do, then if you're doing that, it works out perfect because they can get it. And the way you teach it is phenomenal because it's all from a scientific and supported background, yes. which is really the reason why I like it because I use the same thing. It's not John DeVilla's opinion. Right. It's here's the PDF, exactly. here's the exact reference. Exactly. This is the reason why, which is really funny. I mean, to watch you this weekend was the man stealing my PowerPoints. <laughs> well, different topics. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. No, but, but no, it was the same topics. You're, you were taking the same information that I had and utilizing it just differently, but it was really odd the way it kind of huh. dovetailed. It was oh, nice, great. It's really, really cool. And and because I don't see that from like you go to philosophy seminars, yeah, and it's yay, right. And at the end, it's like okay, great, I gotta go home, right. I I was I just saw the information. It's like wow, all the, well, I didn't know that was out there. And I read a lot, yeah. And to see that information and put it the way you put it and say and, and to give the doctor certainty is great. Then they go, okay, now that I'm going to get new ones, right? how do I, do it right? how do I bill it? Right. And that's the part where I can actually go in and help doctors. Right, because we're talking out. about like coupons, you were talking about Groupon, you know, hey, if you do a screening and you want to certainly give a service, how do you do it? You can do it, but how do you do it compliantly? How do you do it correctly? Right. How do you do it so you're not right. violating OIG and incentives and so much and right. all that? Because there is a way to do it. There are, the, there are ways to practice and do certain things in your practice, but to do it properly and compliantly, right. like you said. Right. Um, how do I get, because you, you come in and we paid you a fee too to come in and audit us. And that was awesome as well. And then we do a, the monthly program and so forth. But how does somebody get hold of you? I want to get hold of you. I'm one of those docs out there watching this. How do I get hold of you? If you want to get in touch with me, you can email me at davildc, davildc at gmail.com. You can find uh, me on the web. Uh, the website is uh, customchirosolutions.com. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you just look me up on Facebook, or you can look up my fan page on uh, helping chiropractors do the right thing. And uh, tons and tons of information there, uh, tons of free information there. That's and that's great. a great place to be able to get information and interact and questions, things like that. Twitter at John De at Jay Davila DC, things like that's that. Great. Awesome. But all that stuff, yeah. Awesome. Well, it's an honor to have you here. Thanks for Thank helping you. us practice more principle business and compliance. And we st we're still learning, so it's great to be yeah. part of your program. Thank you, so by the way, for that. actually teaching the principle from a scientific background. Oh, you're it's, very it's, well. it's, Thank you. It's in life. Very yeah. good. Awesome. Listen, we got another event coming up on November 9th and 10th in Dallas, Texas. We're going to have Rob Sinnott. So when we talk about philosophy, we talk about science and just integrating all that, like Dr. John was talking about, Paul McGrath as well. You're a Paul McGrath as well. Um, so uh, it's going to be an honor to have Dr. Rob Sinnott with us and, uh, and, and talking the tick, uh, and uh, we're real excited and honored to have him in Dallas as we were to have Dr. John, Dr. Sharon, and Dr. Uh, Kathy here with us uh, this weekend. Guys, may your innate always flow from above down. I love you for loving what I love. Have a great week out there serving. Talk to you guys next week.
Each day 